वेलकम बैक टू योर इंग्लिश क्लास टुडे आई विल बी टीचिंग यू ऑल अ पोम ऑन किलिंग अ ट्री रिटन बाय जीव पटेल अ फेमस इंडियन पोएट एंड प्ले राइट इन दिस पोएट्री द पोएट सेंसिटाइजेस द रीडर्स एंड हाइलाइट्स द फैक्ट दैट ट्रीज आर लिविंग बीइंग्स इन फैक्ट ही इक्वेट्स ट्रीज विद ह्यूमन बीइंग्स टू कन्वे दैट trees should not be cut because destroying a tree is just like killing a human being so here in this poem the poet explains how to kill a tree what is the right method to kill a tree but he doesn't mean it rather he is only being sarcastic in this poem he is addressing those people who doesn't have any kinds of feeling towards the trees and environment hence he is making sarcastic rema- remarks for them well before i explain the poetry and teach you about the literary devices used in the poem let me read this poem aloud for you all on killing a tree by jeev patel it takes much time to kill a tree not a simple jab of the knife will do it it has grown slowly consuming the earth rising out of it feeding upon its crust absorbing years of sunlight air water and out of its leprous hide sprouting leaves so hack and chop but this alone won't do it not so much pain will do it the bleeding bark will heal and from close to the ground will rise curled green twigs miniature boughs which if unchecked will expand again to form a size no the root is to be pulled out out of the anchoring earth it is to be roped tied and pulled out snapped out or pulled out entirely out from the earth crave and the strength of the tree exposed the source white and wet the most sensitive hidden for years inside the earth then the matter of scratching and choking in sun and air browning hardening twisting withering and then it is done well now that i have i have read the poem aloud for you all let me explain this poetry stanza wise okay now students look at the first stanza it takes much time to kill a tree not a simple jab of the knife will do it so these lines means that it isn't a simple task to kill a tree it takes a lot of time you cannot kill a tree just by hitting it with the knife it has grown slowly consuming the earth rising out of it well trees grow up taking a long time slowly it comes out of the earth surface consuming it well students consuming the earth means using the earth that is the water the minerals and the nutrients present in the soil feeding upon its crust absorbing years of sunlight air water for so many years the tree uses and absorbs a lot of sunlight air water and that's how it grows and out of its leprous hide sprouting leaves this means finally from its bark stems twigs leaves starts to sprout leprous hide mean brownish color of the bark students in fact leprosy is a disease which leads to discoloration of skin some sorts of patches are found on the skin of that person suffering from leprosy 
Over here, the poet is comparing the bark of a tree which is brownish in color with the patches on the skin of a person suffering from leprosy. Now students, I will be starting stanza 2. So listen carefully. So hat can chop, but this alone won't do it. So over here, the poet is saying, you can hack it by attacking the tree with a knife or a sharp object. But this alone will not serve your purpose. It will not kill the tree. Not so much pain will do it. It means... Jabbing the tree will not cause a lot of pain to the tree. The bleeding bark will heal and from close to the ground will rise curled green twigs. This means the bleeding bark will heal. Well, you must have noticed that when you hit the bark of a tree with a sharp object or a knife, a liquid oozes out of the bark of the tree. The poet is comparing the liquid with blood. When we hit a pers person, blood comes out. Likewise, when we hit a tree, a sort of liquid oozes out. And so, the poet says that, yes, the liquid comes out for some times, but the bark heals. And again, small green colored twigs comes out from its stem. Miniature bow which I, which if unchecked will expand again to form a size. These lines means small stems, leaves, twigs, they again start to grow to its former size, which means previous size if it remains unchecked. Now, I'll be starting with the third stanza. No, the root is to be pulled out. The poet is saying that it's a wrong method to kill a tree by hitting it with a knife. If you really want to kill a tree, you have to pull out the root out of the anchoring earth. Now students, anchoring earth means the earth which is providing support to the tree. The tree is standing on the earth and if you want to kill it, you will have to pull it from the earth. It is to be roped, tied and pulled out, snapped out or pulled out entirely out from the earth's cave. Well, students, earth's cave means the home of a tree. It keeps the root safe by holding on it. But if you want to kill the tree, you will have to pull the entire root from the home where it was lying safe and the strength of the tree exposed this line means when you pull the tree out from the earth you expose its strength that is all the strength of a tree is gone it has started to die the source white and red this means the source is roots which is white and they are wet as they are always inside the earth. The most sensitive hidden for years inside the earth. So students, the most sensitive part of a tree is its roots. If we pull out the root, the tree will die automatically. It will not heal again. Now, moving over to the last stanza, that is the fourth stanza. Then the matter of scratching and choking in the sun and air. This means when the root is exposed, it starts decaying. Browning, hardening, twisting, withering and then it's done. So, when the roots get exposed, what happens? The color of the roots starts changing. It gets brownish, blackish. The wood starts hardening, twisting and weathering. And finally, it dies. Now, I will be teaching you all about the poetic devices used in this poetry.
In the first stanza, the first poetic device used is personification. Personification means making something which is not alive sound like it is. So, in the very first line, it takes much time to kill a tree. Tree is being personified. You can see the poet is not saying to cut a tree, but rather he writes to kill a tree. The poet treats a tree as a person. Now, see the underlined word leprous hide in the eighth line. This underlined word is a metaphor, which means indirect comparison. Here the poet is comparing the discolored bark of a tree with the discolored skin of a person suffering from leprosy. Now, in the second stanza, look at this underlined word bleeding bark. It is an alliteration because ba sound is being repeated in bleeding bark. Now, the same phrase bleeding bark is also a metaphor because the poet is comparing the bleeding skin of a person with the bleeding bark. Just like when we hit a human being with a knife, blood comes out. Similarly, when, a, when we hit a tree with a, ki with a knife, a kind of watery liquid oozes out. So, there is a comparison between the liquid oozed out of a tree with the blood of human beings. Okay, now let's look at the poetic devices used in third stanza. The first poetic device used in the third stanza is alliteration. The source white and wet in the third last line is an alliteration because word sound is being repeated in white and wet. The next poetic device used is repetition. Just look at these underlined words. Pulled out, pulled out, pulled out has been repeated three times in the first, fourth and fifth line. Well, I hope this lesson is clear to you all. So, with this we come to the end of today's lesson. Stay home, stay safe. Thank <laughs> you.